Have you ever felt like life just isn't going the way you planned? Like everything you've worked for is slipping through your fingers and no matter how hard you try, you can't seem to get back on track? If you've ever found yourself at this crossroads, you are not alone. Starting over can feel daunting, overwhelming, and sometimes downright scary. But it can also be one of the most liberating and transformative experiences of your life. Today, we are diving deep into the art of starting over. Whether you're facing a career change, moving to a new city, or just feeling stuck and needing a fresh start, this video is for you. I would say I am the epitome of what it means to start over. I've had several phases in my life. Moving to different city is always a thing that I can close my eyes and do. But I've never gone deeper into evaluating some of these factors. And today we are going to be discussing those and how you too can make your starting over journey easier. For the longest time, I have questioned whether I am a morning person or a night person because I really struggle or I used to struggle on being a morning person. But morning or a new day is always a moment for us to start over our things, our career, our love life, our relationship, all aspects of our life. And today we're going to start by talking about why starting over is so powerful. It gives you a chance to redefine yourself to shed old habits and perspectives that no longer serve you and to create a life that truly aligns with your values and passion. Starting over is about creating a new path for yourself, often leading to personal fulfillment, growth, and a more aligned and authentic life. It's a chance to redeem your identity and direction, embracing the possibility of a better and more meaningful future. I am sure and convinced that life makes us start over, but even without life making us to start over, there's some things that you can choose to improve over your life and become a better version of you. And today, that's what you're exploring on some of the things in my life that I am starting over. So two months ago, I posted a video about my hardest day in my life. When I came here, I was crying and most of you or majority of you send me love people called me people checked up on me and were asking if i'm doing well this was because of the separation well let me not say separation this is because my husband had traveled back to his work country and left me in kenya uh, and i also get to meet people that ask me how has that been have i adjusted have i recovered i'd say it's an everyday thing it's an everyday overcoming situation now of course i'm in a better place i have identified my new routines i have sorted out my life i created an environment that is going to help me for example i now spend most of my time with my sister let's put her on the spot with my sister yeah and um, if you've watched my recent videos you've seen i've always been with her that has really helped which is a big deal but we'll get into this video and why we are making this video today but the second part of starting over that i've been reflecting about is in kenya there was like a, a now we are back into the sari season or oh, it still rains but many people talked about flooding in kenya and we also saw like floods in different parts of the world and unfortunately there's even other factors like war but on the flood part i've been watching a lot of content creators like especially on like tiktok tiktok posting how they're cleaning their houses and recovering from the effects of floods that would mean you will have to like move or you will have to like re re bring back your life to whatever it was like we've seen the effects of things from like cars from houses couches electronics stuff like this and that leads me to the whole idea of starting over and wanting to share a few tips and tricks here that have really helped me on the starting over and even today as i'm filming this i feel like we are starting over as you could have seen from the clip that just played there's like a lot of packing there's suitcases being involved and that always is a moment for people to start over. On the same note, another area that I'm starting over in this video is one of my friends is celebrating her birthday. And on that note, I feel like she's starting over a whole new year. I'm about to celebrate my birthday. I'm also in that reflection of we're starting over a new 
season you know like uh whatever age you are this year is not gonna be the same coming next year so today the start over is about a system that i created in which i can make my life easier in terms of adjusting to my new reality of navigating long distance relationship that is a whole discussion that we can have on another time but today i'm only bringing you on this video because it's finally my sister's last day here with us uh she's going back to school we are grateful for a long holiday that they had it was not long long but it was long enough for me to spend more time with her and uh, now it's time for her to go to school you want to say bye you don't want to say bye she's crying oh, i'm joking <laughs> <laughs> it's the first time i heard her she doesn't want to say hi or bye to you guys but anyway yeah we are all packed now we want to go head out have lunch and just have like our last hangout in like a celebratory thing let me tell you me i'm a lover of celebrating people i'll find any small reason to be like <gasps> Hey, they were born today let's go party oh this is happening let's go celebrate you and not like party party but like let's let's just celebrate the moments that we've had even if it means sharing an orange now on that note i'm now about to talk a lot but on that note i've been i've been accepting the reality of experiencing life and this has come from i'm currently not in a traveling space which is what i used to be doing like on a constant but i'm currently on a go slow when it comes to travel and on the same note and the reason why i really love travel is because it pushes you to experience things to experience different culture to experience different food different people stuff like this but when we are living uh, which is majority of human beings we don't tend to experience life for example you're not gonna put on your cute necklace your lipstick your gloss just because you're staying in the house stuff like this and i've now really been advocating or even practicing for my own life to experience life even on a go slow or even in a living like to keep on experiencing life because this moment is to be experienced right and i don't mean overspending i don't mean uh not caring about what's gonna happen tomorrow i mean if you wanna enjoy your water put it in a beautiful water bottle or just in your fancy glass if you um just easy things you know like if you're serving food serve it in like good portions like in some the same way you would serve some guests you do the same for yourself so oof anytime i have a moment for us to experience life i am down can i give you a one that we've really done with my sister it had to be going to like this nyamachoma places and just feeling like we've gone out and ordering a cup of soup just the soup broth and that has really made us bond in some very interesting ways which i really love you agree okay people can't see you can say louder yes yes okay <laughs> so let's go out let's go and have an amazing amazing time thank you guys for watching this is like one of my let's bond kind of videos that we get to chit chat but i'll take you through my day i hope you enjoyed this video please hit the like button let me also know in the comment section some things that are you're starting over in your life because my goal with this channel over this season is we can create an ignited soul you see that statement that i write in the end of the video that we actually get to live it day by day so yeah see you guys this is how i love you because you love me. Mm -hmm. What's something you've started over? Where? <laughs> Where? Mm -hmm. Tell us. Something I've started over. Yeah. My life. <laughs> when I got fired. I don't think you got fired. Did you get fired? Okay. You did you get fire or the contract ended your contract ended that that affected your contract exactly that that's why you had to start my, school I, <laughs> that's the reason why i am in school because i got fired <laughs> anyway she lost her job basically and her life has never oh, been that's what fired i lost my job yeah yes. you lost your job that's the <laughs> And if you're wondering, yes, <laughs> do I tell them or we keep it a secret? 
The sad part is her life has never been the same, like in terms of financial stability. Yeah. Now you have to focus and just on living reading and studying. My soft life, the way the way you were used to. Now you have to survive. I'm surviving, guys. Anyway, don't worry. There will be another chance for you to start over. Okay. Yeah, there are better chances coming. Yeah. There, are, there is more money, way more money, like a hundred times what I used to earn. Amen. Not even a hundred, like a thousand times. Okay. Yeah. A lot of, uh, let me say, power that is coming mm-hmm. in my line of what is it called? Or let me say, if whatsoever I'm planning for my life works out, there is like a thousand more of mm-hmm. whatsoever I used to live mm-hmm. that is coming up. You're much more excited. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Good. Oh, we do. We are here for your much in our cool. Sasa. Toma. is never enough. So this is us back home, ready to head out. Actually, I just ordered a cab so she can go because she's even getting late. Hello. Poor Sana. Yes, yes. So, time to say goodbye. You want to say goodbye? Bye. Yeah, also, can I tell you, yeah, you know how if I had a bad experience at the Nyamachoma base, I would have come here and be like, yeah, you know, some people need to be kind and stuff like this. I so have to say, <laughs> when you have a good experience, just shout it out. I had a really good experience. The meat was so tender, so tasty, amazing. I miss you, my friend, my sister. I'm just an hour away. No problem. Just an hour. <laughs> But now you're not living together. That's different. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah. different. New anyway, beginnings. New beginning. <laughs> For Harry. Okay, let's just go to her. funny she's saying bye Whew, that's the car taking her and the 
even the watchman is like, oh, you will miss her. You'll miss her. You'll miss me. Uh, I'm not. Say goodbye. 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 Bye. Bye. And we are back living alone like it never ever changed. Anyway, I'm about to step out and go celebrate a birthday. Happy birthday to you. And have a good time. But this is where this video ends. Always, always remember to be time for that to signal your soul. Until next time, bye for now.